Welcome to the next episode of Urban Pavement with Janesh. Such none of them. We uh, we're doing a bit different today. I've got the camera old camera in my hand, and Janesh is standing there by him lonesome. We're up at the summit where Janesh does some work, and um, as you can see, one of the activities, the rocket's nest, is in the background there. We haven't spoken to Janesh for a while. He did do his first 50k run on the weekend. Tell us a bit about that, mate. Uh, it was a pretty good experience. Um, yeah, to to put it in a nutshell, it was a massive experience actually. And the first three k's, it was single trail. Um, felt like it was push bashing. Uh, single trail, like five trail running. Uh, first three k's, did my ankle, um, and then kind of got to the back of the pack, which I wasn't happy about because I couldn't really run on it. Walked for a little bit. After about six k, I was able to run on it again. It was fine. Hit the ten k checkpoint, feeling good. Fueled up with some um, drink and food at the 10k checkpoint, and then that's when the cramps set in. The climb after the 10k checkpoint was my nemesis, probably. Um, hit the 10k mark, and the cramps set in, and the cramps didn't go till the end of the race. Speaking of Stu Gibson this week, and he's the winner from last year, and he, we're going to try and get hold of him to get some tips. But he, a bit of advice, you felt bad about walking. Um, but he said everyone walks in these kinds of races. Uh, does that? How does you feel mentally about walking? Um, because it was a bit hard mentally walking when I knew my head was good, but my leg just kind of gave out on the weekend. Um, when Green Off was walking the hills, but the flats I had to walk as well, some bits because my legs were just seizing out way too much. And it was that cold. I needed to run to keep warm, but I couldn't run at some point, so... I did learn a lot about the walking side of things with ultras um, and just the kind of the mentally being tough kind of running and you're out there by yourself for X amount of hours and you might be not with the pack, you might be running by yourself for a while so I did learn a, quite a lot this weekend. Now that 50k's took you 7 hours and 56 minutes Correct. which we want to do the 100k's sub 14 so yes. we're going to really have to take 2 hours off that first 50 to come home strong in the second 100. How are you feeling about all that? We've got two months, just over two months to go. Um, I felt like I learned a lot from that race. Um, like little things like probably a given. I should first thing should have had my ankle strapped. Like never gonna run a race now with my, my ankle strapped. Learned that quite well. Um, need to load up a lot more of my electrolytes and my salts to keep the cramps away. And just that training, I just need to hone that training. It's, it is crunch time now. How are things going with your sponsors? Have you picked up any more? Or how are the relationships going? Hopefully we can catch up with them next week. Yeah, so far, um, my current sponsors are St. Mel Clothing, as we saw when we had an interview with uh, Mel Melanie Lamborn in um, Dalesford a few weeks ago. We have Freedom Tiger, all doing my uh, PR and my management, which is greatly appreciated. We also have Books Running, which um, is a new one came along board, they gave me a percentage of the discount of their apparel and their shoes because I'm a proud supporter of Brooks Running. Uh, we have Zone Fitness, who um, is my local gym, who we'll be catching up with next week. We'll uh, go in and interview the guys at Zone Fitness and see what they're all about and show you their facilities. And also we have Head to Toe, Head to Toe Healthcare, which uh, I will be seeing next week for uh, my first massage part of the contract. And I probably would be seeing their physio as well, Michael. Um, because I can have my ankle looked at and my shin splints looked at. Right now, Janesh and I have to go to work, so we're just going to say goodbye. See you later, guys. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week. See you next week. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.